In this episode, a discovery in Morocco of the earliest known Homo sapiens fossils not only fills gaps in the records, but also expands our understanding of how our own species evolved. Welcome to the Nature Middle East podcast, broadcasting from Cairo, Egypt. Every week, we highlight exciting research and stories of emerging science in this region. Inside a cave in the mountainous area of Jebel Urhud in Morocco, in northwest Africa, scientists uncovered one of the most fascinating discoveries related to the origins of our species. They found fossil remains of people whose anatomy is similar to ours. Skulls, stone tools, and animal remains from 300,000 years ago. DNA materials and artifacts that could paint a clearer picture of the early steps in the evolution of Homo sapiens. This is a new episode of Nature Middle East Podcast. I am Pakinam Aymer. The fossilized remains of at least five early humans are the oldest known Homo sapiens fossils to date. Human fossils were first found in Jebel Urhud in the 1960s and were brushed off as an African form of Neanderthals. But new analysis and new excavations, outlined in two different studies published yesterday, has told a different story. John Jack Hooplin of Max Planck Institute and his colleagues identified in their analysis facial and dental features that align the fossil remains with early or modern humans, even if they are comparatively more primitive. The faces of the individuals found were delicate, small, their skulls and jaws slightly larger than those of Homo sapiens today. Their brain size and shape, however, are different, meaning that the brain shape that you and I have today is a result of a recent evolution, compared to earlier humans, of course. In conclusion, what we have here in these new studies are the earliest evolutionary phase of our own species. The, the, the consensus uh, has been that very likely our species emerged somewhere around 200,000 years ago, and probably the first forms of what we called early modern humans were represented in East Africa. So there is this notion that maybe somewhere in Sub-Saharan Africa, there is a sort of Garden of Eden where our species uh, first developed and then spread within Africa and outside of Africa. So our results challenge this picture, in many ways, regarding the date of emergence of our species, the geographical conditions of this emergence, and maybe more importantly, the conditions of the evolution of the early forms of Homo sapiens. You just heard from Dr. Hublin, author of one of the breakthrough studies. Ancient climate modeling suggests that the same complex climatic changes that triggered glacial and interglacial ages also created green Sahara episodes in Africa. These green periods did play a part in the episodes of connection and exchange between different populations of Homo sapiens and early modern humans. Needless to say, the magnitude of the findings is staggering. They tell us a lot about how our brains and cognitive difference developed compared to Neanderthals, for instance, and they make us revise what we know of our own evolution in Africa, like how the evolutionary processes behind our emergence, what shaped us, involves the whole African continent. The groundbreaking discoveries illuminate the complex mechanism of human evolution in Africa and what exactly shaped it. The full story by our writer Sarah Hiddleston is already online and is rich with nuggets of information about pre-modern and pan-African evolution in light of these new studies. You can check it online now by logging onto nature.com slash and Middle East. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to follow us on SoundCloud and iTunes. You can also subscribe to Nature Middle East's bi-weekly newsletter to have highlights of our biggest news and feature stories delivered right to your email. I'm Pakinam Aymer. Thank you for listening and have a great weekend. <laughs>